Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to take a look at the all-new redesigned 2023 Forest River R-Pod Model 190. This has an all-new interior, all-new exterior, and tons of other cool features and upgrades. But before we get into that, this particular trailer, as we see it here equipped today, is going to come in at 3,220 pounds empty and is going to be 20 feet 4 inches in overall length. Now this is one of our pods older floor plans and it has new exterior graphics, new, a new interior look, factory solar on the roof, factory tire pressure monitoring system, a new uh, smaller awning that I kind of like over the Thule box awning. Plus it's got all the great features that you know and like such as the torsion axle suspension system, the Asdale composite sidewalls, and all a whole bunch of other great features and amenities. So without further ado, let's go ahead now and jump on to the inside. Okay guys, so we're on the inside of this brand new 2023 R-Pod 190. And as you can see, we're looking at the back of the trailer and you've got a great sized U-shaped dinette back here. Now, one of the things I really enjoy is that you've got three windows around this dinette. So you get a lot of light and you get, you know, to look at the good views of, of uh, your destination. Now, you do have pretty decent campsite window coverage back here. You've got the window in the entry door, plus you've got the window there. And both of these do open too, which is nice. So 2023 changes. You've got a new cabinet color. So it's kind of a dark charcoal gray. New countertop color. It's a it's kind of a brownish wood color. It looks really good. Uh, it looks honestly a little better in person because the camera kind of sometimes has a has trouble giving you the exact color that it actually is. You've got new upholstery colors, new flooring, new wallboard. It all around, it is just a very, very nice look and feel in here. And um, I know somebody's going to say, well, it's dark. It's dark and depressing. It's really not. And I encourage you to get into one of these newer R-Pods for 2023. It does not feel dark at all in here. So up top here. Across from the dinette, you've got your AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system with HDMI and USB plugs that will control the interior and exterior speakers. You've got your solar charge controller for the factory 100-watt solar package. And then you've got your slide-out awning and lighting controls right there. Now, this is a 12-volt TV. And if we take a seat at the dinette here, you can almost kind of use this as a lounge space, you know, if you sit kind of in this back corner, you're directly across from the TV. Again, that is a 12 volt TV too, which is really nice. You've got household and USB outlets underneath there. Plus you've got some netted cubby hole space and then your breakers and fuses are down there as well. Now this dinette will uh, drop down into a bed and I'll show you that in a minute. But before I do, I wanna show you what the view of the TV is from this other side. So if you're sitting there facing your campsite, you do kind of have to turn just a little bit. But again, if you kind of scoot back into the back corner, you have a pretty good uh, view of the TV. So I think a lot of people are really gonna like that. Now let's see if I can hold this camera steady while I get out of this dinette. And you can see you've got your slide out over here. We'll come back to the kitchen here in just a moment. This is going to have a Coleman Q-Series air conditioner. Now, I believe we usually upgrade these to the 15,000 BTU AC, but I will put a, uh, a little pop-up right here uh, if it is, in fact, the standard 13.5. I just haven't had a chance to look at the uh, spec sheets on these yet because these just came in. Right here, you're going to have your tank monitoring panel with your water pump and water heater on gas controls plus your like i said your tank monitoring panel and 
And then right here, you're going to have your thermostat for your AC and your heat. One of the things about our pod is they do use a higher grade ceiling assembly than a lot of other smaller campers. It's, you know, usually if you look up at the air conditioner, you have the ceiling control knobs right here. These guys spend a little bit of extra money and make it a thermostatically controlled AC, which is really nice. Um, that is one of the things that I love in these smaller art pods that they do. Now up here in the bedroom, you've got a 60 by 74 camper queen bed. Now somebody's going to ask me, is there an option for a, or is the way, way to get a better mattress or to put an existing, you know, queen size mattress in there? Unfortunately, a, a regular queen, a 60 by 80 queen will not fit because this is a narrow body camper. Now, if you go to, um, a, uh, oh, dang it. Um, Brooklyn Bedding is a uh, company that oh, they make a lot of RV size stuff. I'm sure they make some pretty good RV queen size beds. Now, one of the things I really like up here is you've got three windows up here that open, including that front windshield. Um, now, that is a Euro style window. So the cool thing is it tips uh, tips out. Uh, they call that a jealousy style window. But it's got the nightshade and then the or the day shade, excuse me, and then the privacy shade comes up from the bottom. So you've got either or, and then that also acts as your bug screen. Now they did this a couple of years ago. I really like the fact that they put this little shelf up here. And then you could mount a second TV uh, back here. I want to say, let's see, is that, okay. Yes. You could put the 12 volt TV back here. Um, or you could do a regular TV. Uh, just whatever you prefer. So real quick, let me drop down this dinette and we'll also take a look at all the storage because I'm telling you, this is for a small trailer. This has got some pretty good storage for, you know, a 20 foot camper. So here's what the dinette looks like in sleeper mode. You could sleep an extra one to two guests, depending on how comfortable they are with each other and how big they are. Um, so there is that. Now down here, You've got good storage, and that does pass through to the outside, uh, just so you're aware. Over here in the kitchen, you have the new high-rise pull-down sprayer faucet, large sink, good countertop space behind that. Uh, you've also got a handy electrical outlet right there. Two burner stove with the glass backsplash and glass sink top cover. There is your TSD tire pressure monitoring system uh, controller there. A little bit more storage up there in the slide out. And then you've got some decent amount of storage there. Plus you've got your convection microwave oven down there as well. Now right here you've got your five cubic foot fridge freezer combo. That's gas and electric. You do have the drop down freezer portion there. And then over here, you're going to have a hanging wardrobe. Of course, you could use this as a pantry if you didn't want to do that. I really like that they put the mirror there. And this is a good uh, chance to show you that color. It's like I said, it's a dark charcoal gray. And man, it looks good. I really am excited about this. Three full extension plywood box, ball bearing, drawer guided drawers there. And then, of course, you've got the brass uh, fixtures there. Central vacuum down here, which is always very nice. And then you've got a couple of, uh, or a uh, household outlet. And then down there, you've got your furnace and then some storage underneath the bed too. Now, last thing before we close this slide out, let's take a look at the bathroom. And I'm telling you, this bathroom does not suck whatsoever so you've got a medicine cabinet there with a mirror you get to look at my goofy face great size countertop kind of a smaller sink but i'd rather have the countertop space gfi protected outlet little cubby hole there more storage underneath there plus you've got your um toilet there it's on a good angle it is plastic um, you could upgrade that to a porcelain toilet if you did want to Fantastic fan, and then you've got a great size shower for a small trailer. You've also got the AquaView shower miser, which is a dry camping feature where while you're waiting for the water to heat up, 
you turn that bad boy on and it will recirculate the cold water back into your fresh tank so you're not wasting any water. And then whenever it changes colors, you turn it off and then the water comes out of the faucet or the shower head. Now you don't want to use that in a campground, mainly because you're hooked up to city water and it would just start filling your fresh tank. I'm about 6'2", and I can easily stand up in there. If you're a little taller than me, you may have to uh, kind of hunch over just slightly. But overall, like I said, this is, in my opinion, one of the best interior decors that our pod has ever had. I absolutely love this. It is so modern, but so classy and, and elegant. It's, like I said, it, it's, it's one of my personal favorites. But all right, guys, let's go ahead and close this slide out and take a look at travel access. So as you can see with your travel access or with the slide out closed for travel access, you're not going to be able to get to much um, because the bathroom is a huge bathroom for this size of trailer and, the, and you have a slide out with this extra deep countertop. Um, it's just, you know, they, if you wanted to make it to where you could get to things, you'd have to either make the kitchen countertop smaller or the bathroom smaller. And they did both, so it is a slight hiccup. But uh, the nice thing is, this is only a six and a half foot uh, body, so you can open this slide out and still not take up a you know another parking space. So overall, I'm gonna give it a A- minus for travel access, just because you have to open the slide out. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the outside features. All right, guys, so we're on the outside of this 2023 R-Pod 190. So starting up front here, again, you can see that front window, smooth fiberglass front there with the diamond plate rock guard. And the, this piece of fiberglass wraps all the way over the top and back down to the rear uh, seal. So you have a one piece fiberglass roof, which is very nice. Starting up front, you've got a power tongue jack, standard single 20 pound propane can. You can add a second one if you did want to spots for two batteries and then you've got your signal repeater and battery disconnect right there that signal repeater is for the tire pressure monitoring system coming around to the side you've got four corner stabilizer jacks those are going to be powered or uh, nope nope they're manual if you want to have the uh, experience of doing power jacks you could use a 18 or 24 volt cordless drill with a three quarters uh, socket um, you don't want to use a impact because you can actually bend the worm gear on these jacks using an impact. Magnetic holdbacks on all of your baggage doors. You've got great past, th oh, well, three quarter storage here. Aluminum bed bases, aluminum cage construction throughout this whole trailer. You've got a sewer hose uh, caddy right there. And then you can see your propane quick connect down there as well. These, all these doors have the Bauer key to like system too on it, which is nice. Now, speaking of propane quick connects, so you've got that there. You, it comes with a Suburban Elite Series griddle and prep table that mounts here. You've also got a cold water spray port here, household outlet, and your black tank flush is right there. You've also got the torsion uh, suspen or axle, which is basically like independent suspension. And then you can see this is a single axle trailer. The tires are going to have a five plus two plus one tire warranty, which is really cool. That's five years against defects, two years roadside assistance, and 12 months no questions asked replacement guarantee on your tires. You can also see they have a new awning for 2023. They're not using the Thule box awning anymore. They have an actual uh, Solera power awning. That does have LED light strips in it, and you can see you've got the porch light and outside speakers there as well. Friction hinge door, you do have the screen that separates, larger entry assist handle. You've also got the dual step instead of just a single, like a lot of other smaller campers are doing. And then as you can see here, our pod uses the Asdell composite sidewalls. What those are, they are a waterproof, mold-proof, and mildew-proof composite sidewall that's or a material that's underneath the fiberglass exterior portion of the sidewall. They also have twice as much insulation and are lighter weight than the Luon panels that a lot of the other competition is using. So lots of good benefits there. 
Here is underneath that dinette storage, so it is passed through, and you can get to it from the inside if you did want to. There's your rear stabilizer jacks. Now those are not for leveling, they're just stabilizer jacks. Back here you've got your spare tire, spare tire carrier, all LED tail, excuse me, and marker lights. Here's the other side of your pass-through storage. You've got your 30 amp service and cable and power. You're gonna have two split tanks on this one. This one is gonna be your gray tank. And then you've got your slide out with your refrigerator vents in there as well. It is prepped for the Solera slide awning toppers. I don't recommend it, but they're, they're prepped for it. And then right there is gonna be your black tank dump. You've also got your low point drains here. There's that sewer hose caddy, that outside access of your furnace, fresh water, city water connections as well, and your six gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition. Now, as we take a look at this side, man, these R pods for 23, they look so much better in my opinion. So there, there's the 23. That's what the older 2022s look like. Um, so let me know what you think. Which one do you like better? I'd love to know down in the comment section down below. Um, you can obviously tell which one I like better, but I wanna know your feedback. So with that being said, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the 2023 Forest River R-Pod Model 190. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you have any questions, or if you would like pricing and availability, you can leave those questions down in the comment section down below. You can, I will also post a link to our new website as soon as we get it up and running, uh, which should happen this afternoon sometime. Um, but I'll post a link to that down in the video description below where you can check pricing and availability at any time. You can also give us a call at 806-335-2336 or you can shoot us an email at contact at custom-rv.com. If you're interested in purchasing this particular trailer and you'd like to work with me directly, uh, my phone number is 806-382-6274. You can call me and te or text me at any time with any questions. Uh, or if you'd like purchase details and information, I'm more than happy to be able to get you everything that you need to, you know, put this in your driveway instead of mine. Remember at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees. We leave those up to the big box dealers. And we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you could do me a favor before you leave, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that, like, or, uh, that subscribe and notification bell down below. We greatly appreciate it. Everybody who's commented, liked, shared, subscribed, uh, and watched our videos over the, these past few years. But without further ado, we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed. We hope you found this video informative. And we hope to hear from you or see you on our lot very soon. And have a wonderful rest of your day.